Hello everyone. I am Divyanshu Chaudhary and I have secured All India Rank 30 in Civil Services Examination 2020. This was my second attempt at Civil Services Examination. And in this video, I will talk about my strategy for Mathematics Optional, uh, which was my optional for the Civil Services Examination. I had started the preparation of Civil Services back in 2018 when I had come to Delhi after quitting my job and uh, I had already decided that maths will be my optional because of the scoring potential of maths, my interest in it and at the same time I had covered some of the topics particularly of paper one during my engineering and management backgrounds. So maths came as a natural choice to me as an optional in civil services examination. Talking about my strategy for mathematics, I had joined the coaching of IMS in Delhi for uh, my maths optional and I got to know from, va from various peers of mine that the first round of mathematics uh, which includes completing the notes and books takes around uh, 9 to 10 months which to be very honest I was not very uh, appraisive of and I decided to do it as early as possible so that I can uh, get some time for GS preparation as well. So firstly what I did was during the first four to five months I attended two classes of coaching of maths daily at IMS and I solved as many notes that uh, that were provided to me as possible during those four to five months in which I was able to finish the coaching. So this was my first strategy. Uh, the second one was that I had earmarked some of the topics which were relatively easy for which I was uh, I didn't require to go to any classes. For example, if I talk about topics like uh, differential equations or vectors or LPP, I think these are fairly easy which can be covered by the student himself or herself uh, rather than going for the class uh, where he or she would be given the exact questions from the books uh, which he or she has to do in future uh, as well. So I think uh, it is very important to earmark such topics uh, which are difficult for example modern algebra or fluid dynamics or mechanics or uh, 3D is a very important topic again. So these are some of the topics uh, real analysis and calculus as well. So these are some of the topics which I believe uh, would have uh, would require coaching and at the same time would give a better understanding if a student uh, gets some guidance from his or her teacher. So uh, because of all of these pointers, I was able to finish the coaching of maths in four to five months. And uh, thankfully, because of that, I got the time to uh, go for GS as well. But in those four to five months, my basic focus was only on the notes that were provided by the coaching because I did not have the time to solve books also as the notes themselves were very holistic. So uh, after the coaching was done, that's when I decided to purchase the books of all these topics. I had got at least one book for each topic and maximum two books for each topic. So uh, this was my basic resource list and strategy for mathematics in the initial days. I'll also be sharing my book list of mathematics uh, with Mahitosh Mahip sir, who can then share it with all of you uh, for your help in future. After I had completed the syllabus, uh, the coaching material in four to five months and the books in maybe two to three months, I was ready with my first uh, preparation sort of thing for maths. And that's when I decided that I will go for some test series. This was when I decided to take up the test series of both IMS and Aryabhatta Ashram. And I found the test series of Aryabhatta Ashram to be really, really helpful, particularly the sectional tests, uh, which Sir him, uh, himself frames the questions for. And I think they are really good as uh, because they, ha they have a good mix of the previous year's question and at the same time the new questions which are being asked in UPSC these days. And Sir is very well, uh, very well appraised of uh, such new things that are coming up. For example, if I talk about the statics and dynamics portion in paper one, uh, we have recently seen a trend that uh, some of the questions that are coming in the actual examination are from the JE books, which uh, you might have solved during your class 11th and 12th. 
so uh, the sectional test of sir of these two topics had many such je questions which i was not able to solve then and i went through the solutions and i think it gave me a really good understanding of how the questions can be formed and as a result of that i was actually able to solve uh, one out of the two questions which were asked in paper 1 this year and uh, from the statics and dynamics portion so i think it really helped me there so uh, i think the strategy should firstly revolve around finishing all the notes and books in a particular time frame i would say 7 to 8 months and then the most important thing is revision of mathematics because mathematics is a subject where if you do not revise it will be wiped out from your brain in a very short period of time so uh, during my both my prelims first and second attempt i was also solving maths for an hour or two before one or one and a half months of the actual prelims date after which i solely focused on prelims so i think maths is a very good subject because it gives you the kind of fun and breaks the monotony of gs as well and at the same time if you practice it regularly you will be able to retain it much more as compared to other optionals when your prelims gets over with and you are preparing you start preparing for the mains examination so it is very important that you do not lose hold of this subject uh, after completing it once also and keep revisiting it again and again so as to uh, get a good hold over it so uh, the test series i have already talked about uh, i had also seen the papers of next ias in my second attempt so in my first attempt it was ims and aryabhatta ashram in my second attempt it was ims aryabhatta ashram and next ias because i wanted to cover uh, as many questions as possible uh, of maths which were present in the market and one last thing that i want to say is in mathematics questions paper the importance of eyqs cannot be underestimated there are a lot of questions that are repeated each and every year from the previous years questions that have been asked by the upsc both in civil services examination and indian forest services examination so i request you to please uh, go through these pyqs very diligently solve them again and again i would say last 10 years would be sufficient from 2009 10 to maybe 2020 and this will give you a very healthy edge over other aspirants because uh, that is the beauty of a technical optional that you will get many same questions which you can easily uh, solve and move forward so Uh, the strat my overall strategy as i already mentioned in the initial part would be to cover the notes and books in a holistic manner in 7 to 8 months then uh, start revising these and along with that uh, start attempting sectional tests because sectional tests will give you uh, uh, the amount of depth required in each and every topic so when you go for full length tests you always have the luxury of skipping some questions which you may not even know because you have so much depth in each and every topic that uh, has already been covered in the sectional test and i would say the best time of writing the test series would be between prelims and mains uh, though it is uh, i'm talking about the full length tests the sectional tests can be written before prelims as well so as to develop a very good understanding or hold over the various topics of mathematics so this would be my overall strategy apart from that i think uh, there is one last thing that i want to convey which is that this examination is not an examination of studying rather it is an examination based on the concept of return on investment as we management grad talks about uh, talk about in our b school as well so i think it is very important to prioritize the topics as well both in paper 1 and paper 2 according to the number of marks and easiness of doing those topics that they can provide you with i'll give you an example Uh, many aspirants have asked me how to do fluid dynamics or how to go for modern algebra now to be very honest if i talk about the contribution of fluid dynamics in paper 2 at max there will be one question in section b compulsory question which is question number 5 and there will be one question or two questions in the question number 8 which is an optional question now the uh, compulsory question uh, of question 5 will relatively have an easy question so it can be dealt with by having the basic information the questions in question 8 are very tough so my strategy was to keep the flu- uh, topic of fluid dynamics at last uh, i would do it as much as possible and as much as i could do it 
to be very honest i only finished the basic part which was required to finish question 5 rather than go for question 8 and i never attempted question 8 in both my attempts so you can see that i conveniently conveniently skipped the fluid dynamics part uh, because this exam does not require you to cram as much rather than go for the topics which will provide you short short marks for example partial differential equations it is a topic where most of the questions come from md rising mania book so if you are you have solved that book thoroughly you will be able to uh, clear attempt those questions which happened with me this year there were two or three questions i was able to solve all three of them because uh, the questions came straight from the book so i think it is very important to uh, understand that there are some topics which are very broad and which will require a lot of efforts from your part but will not yield uh, so much marks in the final examination if the questions do not come from the books that you have read so it is very important to prioritize the topics particularly in paper 2 where i would say uh, please go for modern algebra mechanics and fluid dynamics towards the end and finish the rest of the paper first because i think that will give you a confidence that you have now been able to uh, secure all the marks that were possible in your strength areas and now you will venture into those areas which are relatively weak and see how much your preparation have has now helped you in paper two. so i think this would be my overall strategy please uh, complete the syllabus as early as possible in the first attempt secondly please go for tech, uh, test series because it is a very important tool for securing good marks aryabhatta ashram's test series is really really good i vouch for it i have given it and i was able to score good marks which also gave me confidence both in my both attempts hence i was able to do well and thirdly uh, please Uh, prioritize the topics based on the return on investment factor that i have told you and fourthly please do not leave the practice of mathematics any time because it is very important that you keep practicing it regularly because more than uh, an optional subject for me mathematics was fun i will be very honest so i think if you can do all of these things uh, you'll be able to score a uh, really good marks in mathematics option thank you so much and uh, i really wish you all the best for your future in civil services examination Thank you.